Hey everybody, Armand here at G-Scales. Welcome to our podcast. Today we are talking about son, relaxation, and how to properly relax in the internal arts. And um, such an important topic because everything starts here. If we get this one wrong, it's going to be very, very, very hard, if not impossible, to do the other stuff. You know, Mm. this is just the beginning. Um, So a very important one to understand. So let's dive into this one. Yeah. So let's start with song. Yeah, song. So song means relaxation, but it doesn't mean we just relax, relax, relax. There's something more going on. It's a transformational process. And this transformational process is an alchemy. So we're changing something. We're transforming something from one state into another state. We're going from muscle tension into fascia stretch. A lot of uh, you have maybe heard of muscle to tendon changing. This is, uh, you know, you hear this about exercises, etc. It's a, it's a common term in the internal arts. This takes us a little bit further. It's the same thing roughly, but now we're talking about fascia. Fascia sums up all the elasticity of the body. So I hope you see now it's not what we end up in. It's not the re- just relax, relax, relax. It's the process of releasing and relaxing muscle tension into fascia stretch. And it is this process that describes song. That's quite clear. Yeah. <sighs> Let's take a breath now. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you get this, that yeah. this is a very important thing that you can see the difference between those. Because if you yeah. just choose to relax, 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 we're missing construction. And that, right? yeah. And that's something, of course, that's something we talk about a lot. Construction, construction, construction. Yeah. Because without construction and only relaxation, well, if you're a a martial artist um, (laughs) and you think about (laughs) someone without construction, relaxation, well, there is no fight. Right. There's no because yeah. he's already laying on the floor. There's yeah, no having a cocktail, <laughs> having a cocktail, lying in the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. without kidding, it's yeah. so important to understand yeah. that there's something going on with this construction, with this openness. That, yeah. you know, the openness of the elastic body creates the room for muscle tension to dissolve into. You know, so it's a, it's a dissolving. So relaxation is one word, and that's maybe the thing. You know, yeah. you think about someone. With a cocktail yeah. on the beach, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, which is fine. It has its place, um, yeah. but it's 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 a different thing. It's 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 uh, it it cannot just be that. So let's let's not use the word relaxation now, but focus on releasing, uh, uh, dissolving. And mm-hmm. now we're getting a little bit more clear of what's happening here. Yeah. So yeah, construction is key. Elastic body is key. Uh, elastic body is key because the elastic body. You know, is the is the is the riverbed for all energy streams in the body. So if you want to really go into the qigong process, which is the foundation for tai chi and all the other, uh, uh, you know, internal arts, um, we're gonna see. You know, this is this is this is just a crucial mm. uh, crucial thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and and if we look at exercises to practice the sum. Uh, yeah. process yeah yeah, uh, w- yeah yeah one of the important ones uh um is the standing practice obviously you know it's a great entry into it we've already made podcasts about this for sure and videos when you know the, the thing that you can learn the, there and that this is the thing we also you know we teach when someone comes into a workshop this is day one you know we're really focusing on a couple of aspects we're, co- we're focusing on how to open the joints you know? And if we use standing practice for that, it's nice because we're just standing there, right? We, we're not moving at that moment. We're sort of, yeah. oh, okay, this is me standing here and now I can really focus on what does it mean to open the joints? Well, opening of the joints means creating space in the joints. So we're lengthening, we're, we're yeah. opening something. So the word open, opening the joints is so important here. We made a podcast about that recently as well. You know, the art of being open. Because openness, is, it, it starts with this opening of the joints. Then we, when we open the joints, you know, stretching around the ball or, you know, opening, uh, lengthening the arm in, a, in, a, in an imaginary tunnel, something like that. People have this, uh, this experience of like, what? Now something is happening. Now mm. we go into the elasticity. We feel, uh, we're going to feel the tendons. We're going to feel the elastic body. And wow. So that's the result of opening these joints. We yeah. activate something. 
right? So that's the second step. And we start discovering is like, so how much stress, uh, stretch are you giving? Stress, ooh, I almost said that wrong. <laughs> stretch, sorry, <laughs> are you giving? So, you know, now it becomes more like, you become like a piano, piano tuner. You say like, mm -hmm. oh, a little bit more, ding, 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 and a little bit less, boom, 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 boom. So we're looking for this place where you feel like, oh, wait a minute, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a unity, you yeah. know, there's something happening that connects everything. Hence the word connective tissue, fascia is connective tissue. Something's changed. Yeah. And now we come into a construction, right? Yeah. And then we have a third step we're, we're looking for, is like how to hang the muscle while doing so. So we open the construction, now we start hanging the muscle. This is the, this is the absolute entry into this world. But if you even would only do this into your Tai Chi, because you, you can start moving with these principles as well. That's what we do in the first day as well, as we start moving with it. Now, People have, have this idea of like, and this experience of like, ah, I know how this should feel. Might not be optimal yet, mm. because that's yeah. a development, obviously. But ah, I have an experience. I know what it should feel like. And this yeah. is a completely different thing than just relax, relax, relax. It's a yeah. process. It's a transformational process. It's like oh, a little bit more stretch, ah, oh, a little bit more room. Oh, relax, hang the muscle some more. Oh, dissolve that into a release that into a little bit more stretch. And now, ah, what do we feel? Now, what do we feel, right, Didi? Yeah. We feel more energy. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna feel and experience flow, warmth, etc. etc. Yeah. Yeah. No, and and I think uh, to go back because of woo. Take a breath. <laughs> Take a <laughs> Go back. Yeah. yeah. No, it's um, when I started standing practice long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many moons After ago. Many moons yeah. ago. Um, it was quite hard. It was kind of, I was doing more of the relax, 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 probably. Um, We've all done that, yeah. And um, one minute seemed like hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my body was like trembling and. Um, it feels like dying, right? It's almost, like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. But I was kind of not supported yet by my mm. elastic body. And I it love was that word, kind yeah. of hanging, hanging, hanging. And, and what my shoulders would burn. And my arms would feel like so heavy yeah. and my legs would like yeah, burn and collapse almost. So, um, yeah, that, that was my, my, my first training session with, if you've never done stunning practice, um, do, do still start. The, don't let this put you off, but, um, well, you know, it's got, <laughs> you know, obviously it's going to be heavy in the beginning, yeah. obviously um, in lots of ways, but yeah. yeah. But, but after, you know, and um, then we picked up the training, of course. And, and, and in the beginning, um, we weren't uh, as aware of all these pointers as right. what you yeah, are yeah. now. We were still so, learning as well. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, it was kind of learning along the way. Um, but with time and doing one of the the exercises that made a huge impact was the stretching yeah absolutely absolutely yeah to to um give more space so uh, yeah to implement that into the training and the standing practice became lighter became more open became easier um by building up yeah, the absolutely. fascia yeah and, uh, and and also implementing the uh, the uh, uh, vital energy. Yeah, absolutely. So the poor breathing. Yeah. So there's a combination of different exercises that go into the, this development, right? It's not just a standing practice. It's not just moving with it. There's, you could say there's, uh, there's exercises that are more on the fascia development side of things, which is very important because they create this strong construction and it takes time to develop. You know, it takes time to develop tendons and elasticity uh, on one side. On the other side, we're doing exercises where we're focusing more on the soft side of the training, right? So, and we use poor breathing for that. Maybe you've You've seen videos uh, on, of us uh, online about poor breathing, but poor breathing is actually a tool for uh, the Sung practice and, and it goes a long way. So it's just balancing out between 
the harder exercises, if you will. So we also like holding exercises with elastic bands and pulleys, um, uh, you know, everything that you can, and also partner training, by the way. Oh, so that exaggerates huge. everything that puts a force on your elastic body is going to help develop the elastic body. And what happens? You're going to build more internal power because you have more elastic body. You're going to, you know, conduct more vital energy. Yeah. That's the thing. But on the other hand, we want to work on the really softening uh, side of things where we you know do sorts of exercises with names like uh, the floating bones exercise where mm. we release muscle tension away from the bones and really soften into a very light and nicely open stretch uh, throughout through the pores and you know bringing uh, vital energy into the equation the, the the feeling of this this energy is going to just create more space to dissolve into i mean elastic yeah. body is already a lot where you can dissolve into yeah. but now adding the extra space of this vital energy body the magic starts to happen mm. you know and this is just this is just a process but i hope that you what you can take away from this is that you know working on both sides of the coin here is gonna develop the song it's not just only relaxing uh, softening exercises you know you can really save time lots of time by going to into the development the correct development of the elastic body which means stretching exercises holding exercises etc it changed our lives it's changed everyone we've taught this uh, and i'm so grateful that we've been taught this as well because i think you know in the internal arts there's this misconception that you shouldn't do any of, of the harder training whereas you really start diving into it you can see that you know true tai chi masters the really the real ones out there of course, they've done training like partner training, like uh, object training to strengthen their construction. Obviously, I mean, these are martial arts, mar martial artists for crying out loud. You know, they are yeah. not just <laughs> acting. You know, this is real stuff. Right. But I think this is the yin yang aspect of the training as well. You know, if you don't have this yang aspect to the training, it's going to be really hard to have the more yin aspects of the training. It yeah. supports it's each other. Right. It's the balancing out yeah. of things. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And now, because when you're talking about this uh, so many years later, and now yeah. um, I don't practice standing practice all the time, but we, of course, when we uh, do the workshops, we have s sessions where we do standing practice. And and um, it's so much easier now. It's yep. your... your um, it says if somebody holds you up. It's a self-supporting system Self, yeah. at a certain point, right? And yeah. it's a beautiful feeling. It's, um, yeah, and you feel the energy around you. And it's more, and there's so much more, there's stillness. Yeah, a spaciousness, a stillness, a softness, a connectiveness as yeah. well, yeah. right? It's like everything goes more open, right? Yeah. Your awareness starts to spread, yeah. So it's... Um, it just feels like, oh, I can stand for hours yeah. now and enjoy it. Absolutely. And yeah. enjoy being there and just, yeah, be one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it's not something that you achieve in a, in a couple of days. You can achieve... Um, well, an experience better, of it, an right? An experience. Quickly. Yeah. Um, holding it for longer times and obviously conditioning it in such a way that it's always there for you it's the same as muscle development yeah. really you know if you go you know um it, it, it takes time to develop but yeah. it will develop you know so we advise people to do 100 days of stretching yeah. when they learn it and uh, and that's a funny thing because i had a re we had a returning student uh yeah. this weekend uh, from someone who was here uh, last june so that's roughly three months that's roughly 100 days and um, we did some sitting exercises and I, I remembered from the workshop that he had some trouble with sitting and his spine and it was all over the place and um, tight, you know. Uh, but now you could just sit for an hour because he did stretching every day since. Yeah. So, and I had to point it out to him. It was almost logical for him now. It was just something he was not even aware of. But I said to him, look, you know, you're so much stiller. You're, it's, it's, it's there for you. You took the time to develop it. And uh, it's just great. And you decide how far you want to take this yeah. stuff. 
But stretching exercises, these muscle to tendon stretching exercises are so important for the development, as are the softer trainings of the poor breathing. Mm. Poor breathing is just not poor breathing only, you know. Uh, of course, you just move vitality in and out, but it's a tool for relaxing and and, and, and you know it this it's it's this combination of things that can move you quickly yeah. into uh, into a strong uh, construction alignment and openness. It doesn't have to take years at all. Uh, it depends solely on you and how much time you invest in it. And it's more the regularity of it than anything else. But Didi, it's so beautiful, which brings us also to you know if you start working on this. It's the whole physiology of people starting to oh, change. It's not only that he can sit longer on the chair, he comes different into yeah. the room. You, know, you see yeah. a different person. And, you know, that's the alchemy thing as well, right? You, yeah. you transform that there's something happening. Yeah. And, and in uh, those yeah. five days, because especially when they first come in, it's construction, construction, construction. Without the construction, yeah. there's nothing. And partner, I just and partner, uh, exercises yeah. to support that and yeah. quicken that and make yeah. people more aware of it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And then you... You already um, see the change that can be done. You yeah. know, you see the the person behind the posture that it's been. Um, yeah, uh, people. You can see so much on how people carry their body. Yeah, and and you've been practicing this or or it's ingrained in you almost yeah. for the time that you live absolutely um, yeah yeah it's a story you know you see a, yeah. all these stories of people having lived for maybe 25 years 30 years some 75 years a body tells a story yeah. it's holding it's like a museum right yeah. it's just and that's what you see yeah. and so if you start changing mm -hmm. that if you start some people who had a, a lot of grief they might uh, bend a little bit forward if you, you start that? changing that and start to you know um, when somebody holds their body up yeah um, create spine create and backbone spine, yeah. and wow and, and then something happens with the eyes and something happens with um yeah, their surroundings. So yeah, there's just there's a presence coming in, right? There's yeah. someone who's 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 here, who's present, and more aligned with himself and with everything. And yeah, th this can change quickly. You know, mostly on the fourth day uh, of a five day workshop, people are self correcting. You know, yeah. maybe the, the the days before it's like you do partner exercises, like ah, your neck or. You know, so the yeah. necks are, 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 are an issue for a lot of people. Yeah. But then they start self-correcting. It's like, oh, wait a minute. And now they're going to see, it's like, okay, take this information with me. I'm going to work at it. Now they see the benefit of it. And then they see like, oh, man, I can go to the gym, do holding exercises. I can boost this because every time I do it, I feel better. I guess that is what you're trying to say yeah. here. Yeah. I mean, the change in physiology, of course, I think there's a lot you know, a lot of people talking about that, of course, you know, in the NLP world, think about Tony Robbins talking about that stuff all the time. Start with your physiology, change your physiology, because how you feel is expressed by your physiology. Yeah. Now, pump up your spine, pump up the support system around it. And this takes time to develop, obviously. You're setting up a super strong construction and you now you feel better and everything starts with you feeling better. So this is a large aspect of the training as well. It's not only about oh, vital energy and that store sort of stuff. It's more about a complete picture where everything starts to come together and you are more aligned with yourself, more present with yourself. You change. I mean, you hear from people that their, their family doesn't recognize them anymore <laughs> at a certain point because they're, you know... They're so much more present and aware, but you just have to put in the time. But don't think it has to take that much time. No. It's it's don't don't no. be fooled into that. The thing that's gonna when it's really gonna take time is when you just relax, 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 and think that's it. That cannot be it. Believe me, it's just not what it is. So, yeah, you know, I hope you see that difference now. Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't only see it, you live yeah, it and you I can see it, it. Yeah. you know, you're, yeah. you're open, you're strong. Yeah. But in the same time, uh, being strong, you're also way more relaxed in it. You know, you're such a more uh, aligned person. I can see the change in you. You know, yeah. we can see the change in how our lives develop because yeah. of this training, you know, Absolutely. and that's, that is what it should do. You know, um, thinking about also, you know, the Taoistic influence on this training and, 
and it's like what 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 are we trying to achieve here we're trying to you know create a strong individual and that starts with backbone yeah. you know we know that because we have this in expression in our language as well yeah. so open the joints fine-tune the fascia stretch hang the muscle start there start your adventure and uh, happy training kick ass <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay thanks for watching thanks for listening and uh, see you in the next one bye 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 take care <laughs>